Tip number nine, choose two or three biggest component suppliers and use them to select all the components for your designs. I'm going to explain. Always when we draw schematic and we need to use a new component, always we go to DigiKey and we have a look if the component which we would like to use, if it's in stock and if it is possible to buy it in one piece. If the component is not in DigiKey, if you cannot buy it in one piece and if it's in stock, if it's not in stock, we don't use it in schematic. There are some exceptions because DigiKey, they don't uh, stock uh, all the manufacturers or they don't sell all the manufacturers. So sometimes we may want to go to Farnell or we may want to go to Mauser. This is in the US, they call it, I think, Nevark. But uh, most of the components which we use, 90, 95% of components which we use in our schematics, they are available from DigiKey. Why we are doing this? Why I'm telling you go to DigiKey and they they don't pay me. Eh? <laughs> I'm not doing advertisements for DigiKey. I'm uh, trying to help. After uh, some time of doing hardware development, I realized that if I do it this way, if I select components for my schematic this way, which I just explained, we have less problems during manufacturing. We have less problems when we are building prototypes. We have less problems when uh, we are doing mass production. What kind of problems you can have during production? What do you think? You may have problems to buy components. If you use or if you select wrong component, the problems which you can have are that you may not be able to buy the component in one piece. So you may need to buy 1000 or 5000 pieces for building your 10 prototypes or 100 products. Or uh, if you use or if you select wrong component, uh, you may uh, need to wait uh, for 16 weeks to, to get it because delivery time is 60, 16 weeks and it, it holds all the production for 16 weeks or uh, you may not be able to buy it because I don't know manufacturer doesn't exist anymore or uh, they just stop manufacturing the component because you were only one company to, to buying it yeah but as I said uh, if I use the components from DigiKey or from these other websites which are here and the component is in stock and you can buy it in one piece, then you can very easily uh, build prototypes. Usually just, just go to DigiKey, buy the components and build the prototype very quickly. And uh, during mass production, you don't have to buy it from DigiKey because DigiKey is quite expensive. During mass production, you can buy the components from the other suppliers, cheaper suppliers, but uh, but uh, you just need to be sure when you put this component into schematic, it is available in DigiKey. I don't know why it works. I don't know, maybe it's because DigiKey, they only stock the components which sell. Yeah, they don't stock the components which no one buys. Or they stock the components from, uh, from reliable component manufacturers. I don't know if these are the reasons why it works, but it works. So, when you are drawing your schematic, you may want to follow tip number nine. Choose two or three biggest component suppliers and use them to select all the components for your designs. Why? Because it makes manufacturing easier.